We do. We did uh, show that tweet earlier of Chunk Yogurt, you know, being reasonable and understanding to some degree why the vote went the way it did. But there are still some others who do not get it. I don't know who this woman is. She was on CNN trying to suggest that the right has a media ecosphere that the left just doesn't have, you guys. Here she is. And just listen to all the people agreeing with her. Maybe it's not so much Democrats' policies or messaging or the words that they use specifically, but there is an entire right-wing media <laughs> ecosystem yes. that doesn't exist oh, yes. on the left. Yes. Not it exist. does not exist yes. in yes. the center yes. or mainstream. Yes. And people are getting their information in very different ways now. And Donald Trump and Republicans and Elon Musk and Joe Rogan know exactly how to reach Americans where they are, regardless of age and demographic. And that pay played a big role in this because of the fact of like that whether it was disinformation, misinformation, or different propaganda that they were feeding to the American public. I, I don't disagree with that. We do have an ecosystem. We do. Because we, we actually, didn't. Joe Rogan was a freaking Bernie supporter. The problem is not the ecosystem. The problem is that they turned everybody against them because well, they're yeah. psychotic. But I don't I don't disagree with the fact that we actually have quality programming on our side. Like we do. We have quality podcasting, quality alternative media. They have Jack Squat. Who wants to listen? They to have liberal the whole media. They have all of well, it. Yeah, but it's the legacy media. I mean, I think when she talks about the ecosystem, she's talking about alternative stuff. At least that's what I think in my brain. I'm thinking the alternative, which is the which is the real media these days. Everybody is. But turning. she's saying it as if it's like an unfair advantage. Well, which but they've turned it away. Right. Like yeah. they had Joe. They too had bad. Him. Too bad for you, Biatch. <laughs> right. You know, sorry that nobody wants to listen to liberal talk radio. It doesn't exactly. work. Exactly. That's why, you know, when we were on the radio in Indiana, our bosses were liberals. Yeah. You know, gee, that's interesting. What's interesting about that, the most interesting thing is that they wouldn't put liberals on the air because nobody wants to listen to them. <laughs> they put conservatives on the air because they know that's where they can make money. Isn't that interesting? Yeah. So, I mean, this is no surprise to anybody with half of a firing synapse in their brain. <laughs> nobody wants to listen to harpies, you know? They want to listen to people like us because we actually have interesting things to say. Go figure. I'm so glad that you said the word harpies just now because yeah. that was the perfect segue to, to make this announcement that will likely devastate millions upon millions of people. You have this sort of insatiable interest in every bit of wisdom you can impart. And, and as a journalist, I, I hear you about girding ourselves for this moment. Um, as a human, I deleted Twitter today as an act of self-preservation. And because I was no longer able to find the things I was interested in, I was seeing a lot of things that I, I'm not. <laughs> what was that that she was talking to? What was that? <laughs> Do you guys know what know. that was? I don't know. <laughs> I honestly don't understand what that was. <laughs> oh my she, God. She deleted her Twitter, you guys, for self-preservation. Again. This is, Which is a lie. I mean, maybe she deleted the app, but she didn't delete her account because you can still tag her and stuff. Oh my god! It's like so everyone, every one of my like high school liberal friends who's like, I'm getting off of Facebook entirely. <laughs> I'm like leaving social media, and then like two hours later, <laughs> they're back <laughs> bitching about Trump again. Wait, that's weird. I thought oh you said god. you're gonna leave. I thought you said you're gonna leave the country. I thought you said you're. <laughs> Why are you still here? Why, Why are, you, are you gay? <laughs> Why are you gay? God, these people. It's like they're so predictable. <laughs> oh, my God. Um, also, <clears throat> we now know and have confirmation <laughs> of a couple of things. <laughs> Joe Scarborough, Morning Joe, has never, has not stepped foot in a grocery store in decades. Speaking of why are true. you gay? <laughs> Joe Scarborough. <laughs> you missed now, the transition. Mika, yeah. I did. I did miss that. <laughs> you did. Mika sounds like she may have. So what's amazing about this clip is that he's now just discovering that maybe that whole thing about people caring about the cost of groceries and gas mm -hmm. was an actual thing. <laughs> Let me talk about economy for a second. Um, a few weeks ago, three weeks ago, uh, somebody who was going to be voting uh, for Kamala Harris uh, came up to me and said, oh, my God, 
Trump's going to win. I go, why is that? He goes, I just I went to the grocery store. Butter's over three dollars. I kind of <laughs> laughed and I said, I said, well, that's kind of reductive, better. isn't it? Said it to myself, to him. I smiled and I said, good point. Mm-hmm. Um, oh, but think? it actually what $7. everything we're hearing after yeah. the election is. <laughs> I'm just it saying. is the seven. What's that? <laughs> The seven dollars. What's that? Butter is seven dollars. Yeah. <laughs> what? Oh my God. Is it framed in gold? <laughs> yeah, okay. And, <laughs> anyway, oh my God. God. Okay. Well, yeah. Okay. Seven well, bucks. anyway, my point is this, Willie. Yeah. The rent is too damn high, and this guy was saying the cost of butter is way damn too high. Yeah. And so <laughs> I thought it was a bit reductive. It ended up being. <laughs> Just the point that if you look at the cost of groceries, if you look at the cost of grass, uh, of, of gas, if you look at the cost of things compared to four years ago, it was a very simple uh, answer for working class Americans. Things just cost too much. Yeah. 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 Good job, Joe. <laughs> what Good did job. I just see on MSNBC? <laughs> WTF is wrong with these people. This is after the election, after they called us Nazis and white supremacists and deplorable and garbage and all this other crap. Then mm-hmm. they're like, oh, wait, butter's expensive. <laughs> Bum up my ass. Butter. It's like, because Joe Scarborough and Mika are like, you know, we don't know this because we send our housekeeper to do the shopping. Because <laughs> we, we haven't been shopping since 1987. It Aww. seemed like they were fighting, don't you think? They seemed irritated at each other. She in that hates clip. him. <laughs> she wants to kill him in his sleep. Are you kidding me? It is so obvious every day how much she despises that man. She's like, I can't divorce him. It's going to be too messy. It will be too messy and financially. She can't. Am I wrong? She hates that guy. She doesn't let her speak. Um, you guys, I regret to inform you that Sonny Hostin is still raging and still doesn't get it, is convinced that the whole reason that Kamala lost is purely misogyny, sexism, <laughs> racism. Alyssa is trying, you guys. You got to give her a little credit for trying. But just the crazy is off the charts. Behold. We talk a lot about these different demographics and these assumptions of where they're going to go. Latinos in Texas, a a district that's 97% Latino, went 75 percentage points for Donald Trump. Why? Misogyny. No, it's on the border. The border crisis is on their doorstep. And they were begging people to care about it for years. We need to take some lessons. That's what that was. The lessons are not. Knock, knock. Who's there? I just want her to come live in my neighborhood for like two days, you know, because I'm basically I'm like a minority in my neighborhood. You know what I mean? A lot of Hispanics, a lot of conservative Hispanic people. She would like that would blow her mind. She'd be like, everybody here is misogynistic and racist. It, I I just can't, you know, but the longer she doesn't understand it, the more we win. I kind of I'm OK mm-hmm. with her not understanding it. I'm OK yeah. with it because it's like she's a celebrity elitist jackhole. <laughs> and so many of them are, and they just are never going to fully comprehend. They, they are so far removed from reality, normal, everyday, working class people. She's never going to get it. Because remember, she has her lot in life. You oh, know? that's right. She doesn't feel she's bad for her. She's fine because she's up here. She has her lot in life. She just feels bad <laughs> for the little people. <laughs> and her mom, who yeah. apparently she doesn't help at all. She doesn't help her mom at all. <laughs> she's up here. But I mean, like, she's never going to get it. And I'm okay with her not getting it because the the longer these people don't get it, the more we win. I like winning. <laughs> I, we don't get tired of it around here. No, we do not great. get tired of it. Screw and her. I consider it a win whenever Jimmy Kimmel cries. And so I think you guys will enjoy this as well. Honest, it was a terrible night last night. It was a terrible night for women, for children, for the hundreds of thousands of, of hardworking immigrants who make this country go. Mm. Um, <laughs> for health care, for our climate, for science, for journalism, for justice, for free speech. It was a terrible night for poor people, for the middle oh. class, for seniors who rely on Social Security, for oh. our allies in Ukraine, oh for NATO, God. for the truth, and democracy and decency. And it was a terrible night for everyone who voted against him. And guess what? It was a bad night for everyone who voted for him, too. You just don't realize it yet.
Mm. Okay. Someone's on the ditty list. <laughs> Gosh. You know he partied there. What? <laughs> <laughs> you know the most the, the the most interesting tweet that I've seen about like the some of the freakouts. There was somebody who said, "I don't understand why Hispanics would have voted for Trump when he's just going to deport them." And I was like, <laughs> "Oh my god, these people, let's, let's unpack that because if they voted for him, that means that they're citizens and they would not be able to be deported or have a reason to be unless, of like, course, you're admitting that non-citizens are voting, in which case you lose all the different ways. You lose right. all the ways. It's like <laughs> they're there. You're making way too much sense. I can't call you blondie anymore. It's it's I'm really still blonde. Not really. You're more of a brunette now. We, oh. but, I, but I'm still going to say they're there, <laughs> blondie. <laughs> I mean, seriously, like these people are so stupid. Yeah, I, I get. Yeah, I. We, do we have to always define for them the difference between legal? I and know illegal. <laughs> One it. group broke the law. I know. Oh my god, so dumb. I just I love today's show, you guys, because there's so many it's a hilarious great show. Clips. It um, is. AOC, for example, very upset. And I enjoy it. I enjoy her agony. I can't help it's it. It's the greatest. That's probably a horrible thing to say. But... No, it's not. It's I'm right there with you. <laughs> we we can drive the bus to hell together because I'm uh... I'm enjoying this the whole week. I've enjoyed it. If that makes me a bad person, oh well. Yeah. Because I've can't enjoyed feel bad this. About it. I've enjoyed this week. I get to enjoy it. It's a great week. Here it is. is AOC. We are about to enter a political period that will have consequences for the rest of our lives. We have had an enormous setback in this election because the fascist won a lot of working class support, which has happened before in history. And mm -hmm. we can talk about that. We can talk about it, you guys. <laughs> I just love this. Shut I love up. it. <laughs> just, just shut up. Just like, they're the party of mental illness, man. Oh, man. Are they ever? 